I started this thing called the MMA, the MIDI Manufacturers Association. Um, I uh, started as a nonprofit, and um, I built the, the communications device. I put together the protocol on how engineers could talk about things freely without, you know, fear of any, you know, secrecy issues. Um, and it worked. It all really worked well. So seven years, uh, I ran everything. Then I stepped down. Uh, Jim Cooper took over for a while. Uh, I came back for a couple more years, a couple years later, but my career had really started to take off as a composer and I was no longer able to keep up with things. But for those initial seven years, everything that needed to happen happened. And, um, you know, you can't please everybody, but uh, nobody could fault how we made the decision to do things. And not everybody was 100% on board. Bob Moog, uh, we spent a lot of time uh, talking about uh, the relationship between synthesis and MIDI. Because MIDI, at the time, had very little to do with synthesis. It was really mm -hmm. about performance. How to record and play back and edit a performance. How to merge multiple instruments from uh, competing organizations. And Bob didn't feel that MIDI really addressed what was really fascinating to him about the ability to sculpt and mold sound using an arbitrary method of synthesis. I mean, he had his, sure. which, I mean, you know, the two slash three oscillators filter envelope uh, paradigm hasn't shifted that much since Bob Moog, you know? Yeah. Since the 70s, our, the architecture of the vast majority of synthesis Turns out is, he was on to something. <laughs> I think he, yeah, he kind of figured, he kind of boiled it down. <laughs> anyway, so that was my role, you know, was to oversee everything, to be supportive, to answer questions, to solve thousands and thousands of problems to translate documents between Japanese and English and the other way around and it was great I'm very uh, proud I got to give the first TED talk on on music technology Wow! and uh, with a emphasis on this new thing called MIDI uh, had only been around a few years when TED got started and um, you know as a result I made amazing friends in the uh, synth um, engineering community between Bob and Tom and Roger and Dave and you know 